we're going to be taking our identification notes on wound care and management. So these are going to be the instruments that we are utilizing when we are caring for wounds and dressing them. There's some cool articles about the principles of healing. Uh, so I definitely encourage you guys to read those. We're going to make sure that our notebook is set up with the use and description on the right hand side, the types of supplies that we're using on the left, of course your name, date, and session, and ID notes, wound care, and management. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that Quizlet link. Uh, the first thing we're going to look at oh, is a type of bandaging material called Elasticon. So the first thing that we're going to look on is a bandaging material called Elasticon. So Elasticon's appearance uh, it is a cotton elastic cloth tape with a rubber-based adhesive, so it will stick to the fur. Uh, so this is going to be great for both the proximal and distal ends of the bandage uh, to actually attach it to the fur. Uh, uses it will provide compression and support uh, when binding wounds. It's used as a tertiary bandage material. So a tertiary bandage material is going to be the third layer. So here we have then our Elasticon. Uh, you can see that cloth on the outside and that um, discoloration is the adhesive sticky portion. This is going to stick to the fur um, of your bandage on your animal. So if you do need to on the more proximal and distal ends, you can use the Elasticon to secure your bandage in place. Next we have our bandage material, our roll gauze. Uh, roll gauze is going to be a non-adhesive uh, bleached cotton and it's going to be the absorbent layer of wound dressing. So it's absorbent wound dressing and can provide padding. This is going to be used as a secondary bandage material. Uh, so we'll go ahead and cover the wound uh, with bandaging and then we will wrap uh, around the wound with this absorbent wound dressing, this uh, roll gauze. And roll gauze does come in different sizes, different weaves, and it can be different types of cotton. Next we have our vet wrap or coband. Uh, so we call it coband in the human world, but vet wrap in ours. Uh, so this is going to be flexible self-adherent wrap. A lot of you We'll see these in bright colors. They'll come in different patterns, uh, different thicknesses. We can use them for tail wraps. Uh, when we were talking about an animal coming into the clinic with a um, with a lot of fur, we don't want to get it urinated on or have to shade that tail. Uh, we can then use a vet wrap uh, to create a great tail wrap. Uh, also as a band-aid, if you will, uh, to hold square gauze after a blood draw or catheter pull. This is also considered a tertiary bandage layer to secure IV catheters and other uh, materials. So once we put that primary layer on over the wound, we put our secondary layer of our roll gauze, then we will follow up with our tertiary layer of our uh, vet wrap, and then we can secure that vet wrap with the Elasticon. Uh, so here's just some basic uh, vet wrap. It does come in multiple different widths, so from one inch to four inch you can find in a clinic. Just depends on what your needs are. Uh, now we're going to go into the cutting aspect of what we use to cut into our incisions or create our incisions. And we've got our scalpel blade. Uh, so your scalpel blade is a flat surgical grade steel blade. Uh, the shape will vary. Uh, varies on the blade number and purpose. So we actually have different blade numbers and those numbers are different shapes and the shapes again are different purposes depending on where you need to get to and what you are cutting because uh, their different organs are going to have a different tension. They're going to cut differently because the flesh is made differently. Uh, uses create incisions in various types of tissue. Blade size number 18 to 27 and 36 fit on handle number 4. Blade size 6, 9 to 16, 40 fit on handle number 3. So we do also then have different blade handles. So here we have our different blades. You can see those different shapes in there. Um, they all vary depending again on that number for them. And then next we have our scalpel handle. So the scalpel handle is the actual handle, right? And so it has this 
bulbous end and that's where we lock the blade into and then we have the scalpel handle this is a number three uh, handle you can see that three is down in there uh, it will tell you what they are uh, on the handle so they're surgical grade flat steel handles with a narrow end for the blade uh, they're going to hold the scalpel blade to assist in creating those incisions uh, the common ones that we use in vet med are either going to be a number three or number four so those will be what you see uh, next we have our staple remover so uh, staple removers are going to do just that and they're going to remove the staples uh, the mouth of the staple remover is composed of one tooth in the center and two opposing teeth on either side this is what is going to remove the tissue staples um, once we put them once we're able to fit that those teeth into underneath the um, suture or underneath the stitch rather uh, we're going to just clamp on it and then that is going to be what removes it uh, oftentimes we see people that are trying to jerk and press at the same time well the suture uh, these staple removers are specially designed to remove the staple from the skin without you having to do any extra pulling motion next we have our suture needle there's two types of needles for suturing we have what's called a cutting suture needle and this is going to be a curved needle with a triangular point uh, this is going to be used for closing the skin all right so we want to use this for skin closure uh, and the triangular point is going to assist in breaking through that that tough skin on the outside so here is your triangle and you will see that on the boxes when you are getting your suture needles out on the packaging so you know the difference the next is a taper suture needle so the taper suture needle is going to have a curved straight point um, more so what you think of as a typical needle uh, designed to minimize tissue damage so these are going to be used for closures of delicate tissues such as the peritoneum and the peritoneum again is that tissue that separates your cavities uh, and we can also use this for intestines anything that we're suturing internally and here we have that round point so that's how you'll see that picture denoted will be a circle and then the dot in the center for a taper needle uh, next we have silver nitrate sticks. Uh, silver nitrate sticks are used to cauterize the wounds. Uh, so if you have a animal and you've trimmed its nails and you've trimmed its nails back too long and they start to bleed, you can use the stick to cauterize it. Uh, it's very similar to our styptic powder. Uh, it is just using uh, the nitrate to do so. Uh, so the silver nitrate sticks are going to cauterize that wound and there they are um, so you can see those things are going to cause that caustic reaction and cause the kind of cauterization of the wound we use these if it's a little bit more bleeding um, just for and that's also that kind of preference right of who what tool we want to use next we have tourniquets so with tourniquets we can use those to stop blood flow if need be and also help us retrieve blood uh, so parents it can be a rubber hose with a clamp to control tightness or thin flash piece of rubber also cloth uh, with a tightener on it uh, the uses are to constrict the blood flow from vein and arteries and can prevent traumatic bleeding or assist in occluding vein for a blood draw uh, we also will see the hemostats are can be kind of considered as a tourniquet when you're inside um, and clamping off various uh, veins so here's the rubber uh, tourniquet there is a little um, piece in the center that tightens and then releases that tourniquet and then we have a cloth tourniquet and then the basic kind of rubber band tourniquet which many of us are used to seeing in human medicine so that is our wound care and management